Hey, what's up guys? Trix here, and I'm back with another episode of Terraria 1.2 with TXCW for you. This time, I really don't know what we're going to be doing. Um, we're probably going to try and go get the blindfold, or we might actually go into the underground jungle and plant some chlorophyte ore so that we can start farming it. But, um, yes. So we are back in the Terraria world, and first thing we have to address is the color of our hero's clothes. Now, I've looked at the comments on the previous episode, episode 61, the glorious return, and I got about four comments for blue, two comments for cyan, someone said four, I can't remember who that was, but, um, yeah, so we're going to be sticking with the blue hero's clothes, although I may be, uh, periodically changing that out sometimes, depending on what I'm feeling like. Someone said, uh... Make it red and black dye, because that's like an anti-hero look, which I thought might be pretty cool. If I just had more red and black dye, I will definitely try that out. So, thank you for that suggestion. So, this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab some chlorophyte ore right here. And we are going to... Ooh, reacts to the light. What does that mean? Uh, light, dark. Oh, it pulses in the light. Interesting. Or in the darkness. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's grab that chlorophyte. There we go. Sweet with our pickaxe axe. So, um, yeah, let's now just... Uh, we've got the counter man of the plan and the hasty medicated bandage. What are the things we need for the Ankh charm? We still need the armor bracing, which is the vitamins and armor polish, and the blindfold. So we have three items left for that. There will probably be another quest for the Ankh charm episode soon. Um, so let's just head back over to the jungle with our chlorophyte. We can also mine some while we're down there. But, um, I went back to episode 59, I believe it was, chlorophyte ore, uh, just a few minutes ago, and that was an episode where you guys submitted a bunch of questions in the comments below, and so I've got those questions on a piece of paper. Listen, listen. That's actual paper. I feel very prepared, and I'm very proud of myself. Um, but yes, I've got your questions. There are four people that asked questions on there that were, um, genuine questions that weren't like, hey, do you want to play with me? Or, hey, do you want to play on my server? By the way, guys, about that, I don't, I don't like playing with people that I don't know. Um, like, if so, people, people ask me quite a bit, like, hey, do you want to record with me or something? But, like, I don't know, uh, the people who asked me to do that, so I'm not comfortable recording with them. Um, so that's why I usually refuse those requests, uh, to record with people, but, uh, playing with you guys, I'll probably do that from, t we just got a life fruit, because I was just swinging my sword. I'll probably play with fans from time to time, but what I want to do is have fan days, where, um, I'll just go and start live streaming, uh, on a Minecraft server, or a Trio server, or something, and I can play with fans that way, um, there will be an announcement a few days before that, of course. Um, but that's what I'm try That's what I'm hoping to do for when people ask to play with me. But um, yes. So yeah, that's kind of my answer to those questions. So let's plant some chlorophyte, and I'll answer the questions that I have on the sheet. If we can oh, just kill these things, yeah. There we go. Sweet. Okay, uh, what, what armor are we wearing? We're wearing our chlorophyte plate mail. Okay, um, kill the giant tortoise. Get turtle armor. That is a lot of those fish. What are they? Um, Arapima. Uh, did their name change? I don't remember them being called Arapima. Hmm. Anyways. Alright, let's, uh, let's find a good spot to plant some of this chlorophyte. Uh, oh, wow, we are extremely low on life. Um, have not been at, we just got another bezoar. I've gotten, like, two Bezoars. Um, I've gotten, like, three Bezoars total in this world, and two when I... Yeah, I'm not used to the jungle yet. Um, takes a little bit to get used to it again. Yeah, I got a few Bezoars. But, um, let's, let's see if we can... Let's do an experiment real quick. We're going to plant some mud, and it is going to be in he here. Um... We'll plant some mud down in this cave that we have right over here, and then we'll head to the jungle and find some more chlorophyte. Aw, I can't afford... Okay, fine. 
Um, so let's go and plant the mud real quick. So, uh, questions. If you would like to ask me a question, just write in the comments below, and I will look for your questions. So let's get to the first one. It was... Captain Phoenix 88 asks, who is your favorite doctor? So, if you guys don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of Doctor Who. Um, I've been watching uh, this show for a few months. I didn't start um, back in 2005 when the Modern Series came on, but um, I'm watching it now. So, yeah. Um, so, I, I've only, I haven't seen any of the classic episodes. I want to see the classic episodes. That's why I want to that's why I want uh, Hulu, because it has all the classic episodes. They're not paying me to say that, by the way. Um, but it does have all the classic episodes, and I want to get it really badly. But um, my favorite Doctor of the modern series is by far David Tennant, although Matt Smith is a lot of fun. I've just started a Season 5 of... Oh, no, Chlorophyte. I've just started Season 5 of the modern series, so... Um, I haven't gotten too far, or I've only got three doctors to choose from. Christopher Eccleston was great. Um, I liked him a lot because it was the first doctor I had experienced because I was just new to the show. And uh, let me get a drink of water real quick, guys. There we go. Sorry, I could feel my voice kind of getting all crackly and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so my favorite Doctor is David Tennant, um, but I haven't seen the entirety of Matt Smith's run, so I don't know if he'll become my favorite by the end of this, but I think David Tennant did his job really well. He portrayed the Doctor really well. Um, so, yeah, David Tennant is my favorite Doctor, Captain Phoenix 88. Hope that satisfies your question. So, next question, let's just plant this chlorophyte right here. By the way, guys, um, someone told me that I could do this in the comments, and that's how I learned about this. Um, so if you have anything that, like any, um, like you can plant chlorophyte in mud, or you can't grow chlorophyte in mud if it's not in a jungle biome, uh, tell me that in the comments below, and I'll listen to that. Because uh, you guys might not know this, but I read every single comment, and I reply to most of them. Um, I try to reply to all of them, but some of them are just like, some Google Plus made it really weird. So some people comment and it doesn't have a reply button, so I can't reply to their comments. And then some comments I just don't know how to reply to. But I try to reply to every comment that y'all leave. And thank you so much for leaving comments. It's great to know that there's people out there watching me, watching, wasting time as I sort of just blabber on while playing a game. But anyways, um, all right. Uh, next question comes from. Super Mario, what, that's a bunch of numbers, 91732, Super Mario 91732, okay, uh, what did he ask, he asked, how did I get introduced to Terraria, um, funny story, it was the same time I was getting, I got introduced to Minecraft, um, I was at my best friend's house, uh, back when I was in fifth grade, so, gosh, that's four, five years ago, um, four years ago, back when I was in fifth grade, I was at my best friend's house, and I was in a new school, so, um, it was awesome to go to someone's house, because I didn't really have that many friends, and that best friend, who's still, like, my best friend to this day, was one of my first friends I made that year, um, but I was at his house, and we're, his older brother was showing me, I just got some butterfly dust from a moth, he was showing me Minecraft, because I, I think I might have heard of the game, but I'd never seen it, and it was Minecraft Beta 1.7.2. I still remember the first version I saw. Um, in case you're wondering, the first version I played, you can ask that in the comments below. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Oh, hello, Mimic. But um, he was showing that to me, and they were trying to build this underground railroad and stuff. It was pretty cool, and I was like, wow, that, that game looks really cool and really fun. So um, he was like, oh, but look at this. And he went to the, uh, or he was like, no, I can't remember exactly how it goes. I just remember we were on Minecraft, and then he went to his desktop, and he was trying to, like, show us Minecraft again, but I'm like, I saw the Terraria tree icon. I'm like, what's Terraria? It sounds interesting. And he booted it up, and um, he showed me his character, and he showed me his world, and he's like, this game is really fun. I've got silver armor and an awesome world and stuff like that, and he showed me his world. I'm like, wow, that's incredible. Um... 
And so he's like, it's only $10 on Steam. And it, fun fact, that's the first game I bought on Steam. The second, I believe, was Cubeman, and the third was Gary's Mod. I don't know for sure, though. It's I know that Gary's Mod, Cubeman, and Trier are the first three games I owned on Steam. And then Cube was, like, fourth or something. But, um, yeah. Uh, Trier's the only... Triria is the one that I play the most to this day. Gary's one I only play occasionally. Hey, look, it's Plantaire's Bulb. Um, But he showed me it, and he's like, it's only $10. I'm like, cool, where do I get it? He's like, Steam, and he showed me Steam and stuff. And yeah, so I've been hooked on Triria ever since. Um, I really wish I hadn't deleted my first world, though. That is something that I regret. I deleted my first Minecraft world, and I deleted my first Triria world, and I really wish that I kept those. If you have uh, your first Minecraft world, your first Terraria world, your first world on anything, don't delete it. You will regret it. Please do not delete your first world on anything. Okay, yeah. Um, but my first world, I I didn't know what I was doing, so I built a massive house entirely out of stone. And since this was 1.1, um, stone was a bit hard to come by. Or, vast quantities of stone were hard to get if you're just starting the game. So, kind of foolish, but, um, I could have built out of wood. But I did really well in that world. Um, I never got to, uh, fight any mechanical bosses in it. I got to hard mode, I believe. Um, I remember I had this, like, six-block-wide elevator. Sorry, I'm getting all nostalgic. Um, but... Yeah, I had this, like, six-block-wide elevator. I had, like, slime farms and stuff. It was it was pretty cool, but I did cheat a little bit in it. I tended to cheat in my first world and stuff, but um, that's why I started this series, because if I do a YouTube series, I can't cheat on it, and that's why... Uh, that's one of the reasons I started this series. Hello, Mimic. Oh, wait, it's not actually a Mimic. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's how I got introduced to Terraria. It was by my best friend's older brother, and I've been hooked ever since. Sweet Alive Crystal. So, um, Super Mario 91372, I hope that answers your question, and I hope I got your name right. Next question is from Pob2AJ, and he asks, um, if you could ever play with someone in your videos in Terraria, um, that's what he said, I think he means if I could play with one YouTuber, if I could play with, uh, who... If I could pl if I could choose to play with one person in Terraria, who would I play with? I think is what he means. Um, so I guess he mean he might mean like a YouTuber, a Terraria YouTuber or something. And I don't know. I think it would be pretty cool to play with um, either uh, Yermer or Epic Hobbit Twenty One. Although um, Epic Hobbit he did message me the other day. Um, I he did message me the other day on Skype about a new series he's starting. He wants me to be in it, but I'm going to keep that hush-hush. Um, but I, I I have started watching some smaller um, trivia YouTubers, like uh, Epic Hobbit 21 I'd like to play with him, and Ampex. If you don't know who that is, he does speed builds, um, and they are m amazing speed builds. So it would be cool to play with him, Epic Hobbit 21 or Yurimer. Um I don't think Hero would be too fun to play with. I don't think he's active on YouTube or on YouTube anymore. Uh, nor do I think that Terraria Help is active anymore. It's sad to see those guys go because they were awesome. But yeah, um, ooh, ooh, uh, I know Zisto, Zisto or Zisto, however you, pr however you choose to pronounce it, he would be awesome to play with. Um, yeah, so either Epic Hop Twenty One, Ampex, Yermer, or Zisto. I uh, can't choose one out of all those, either Epic Hop 21 or Zisto, probably. So I hope that answers your question, Pob2AJ. Um, next question, uh, this one is, this guy's name is um, Hink D. Sajak. Yeah, yeah, Hin Hink D. Sh Sajak. Sorry if I said that wrong. His name is uh, SJ and two A's. In a case, so it's a bit weird to pronounce, but he asked me, what are your favorite games? I think Terraria and Minecraft. Uh, my favorite games are Terraria, Minecraft, and Skyrim. So, like, he thinks my favorite games are Terraria and Minecraft. So, I'm going to answer that for him. Um, my favorite game is Terraria. Uh, favorite game of all time is Terraria. But I think the most fun game I've ever played is Kerbal Space Program. 
um, because that's just hours of endless entertainment. Um, Terraria and Kerbal... So Terraria is my favorite game of all time. Kerbal Space Program, I think, is like the most perfect game I've ever played of all time. Like the best game. Um, I'd say the most fun game I've ever played. Minecraft is fun, but it gets pretty dull after about 10 hours um, or so because there's no difference in mobs um, at all. Like, there's... Okay, there... So I'm going to think of all the mobs real quick. There is the Enderman, there's the Zombie, the Skeleton, the Creeper, the Slime, the Magma Slime, the Zombie Pigman, uh, the Blaze. Um, am I forgetting any? Um, I think those are all the mobs. But then there's only there's only two bosses in Minecraft. There's the Ender Dragon and the Wither Boss. Um, and then there's, like, I think just over 200 items or something. So yeah, there's not too much in Minecraft compared to Terraria. But with Terraria, you've got, what is it, like, 20 plus bosses or something, and then hundreds of mobs and stuff. Um, ooh, we got a hornet banner, so that's, oh wait a second, I need my pixie, that's why it's so dark. Um, so yeah, Minecraft is, is one of my favorite games, but I wouldn't say it's, I'd say it's at the bottom of the top 10 for my favorite games, I guess. Um, Gunpoint is one of my favorite games. Um, I, I really like Gunpoint. I adore Gunpoint. Um, I'm coming out with a Trix Plays on that soon. And also, Thomas Was Alone is another one of my favorite games. So I hope that answered your question. Uh, Hens D. Shizak. So yeah, if you guys have any questions you would like me to answer, just write them in the comments below, and I will get them, and I will read them. And if I determine that... Uh, they are good questions. I will answer them in a video. So, um, we're coming to a close for this video. Um, so let's just go a little bit deeper, try to find a bit more chlorophyte. Um, yeah. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sending in questions, because it gives me something to talk about during the videos. And I don't just have to ramble on. Um, see, now that I have no questions, I'm saying I'm a bunch. Yeah, for community challenge, someone submit me a challenge to not say um at all in a video. Okay, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, okay. Uh, any more chlorophyte over here? What is that block? Mud block. It just had some weird texture to it. Okay, don't say it. Okay, there we go. Uh, resisting saying the U M word. Um. Any more chlorophyte down here? I'm not seeing too much. So let's return home and check up on that chlorophyte in the cave. We got 50 chlorophyte, which is a decent amount, so we can see what we can make out of that. So let's just hop down here real quick. This video is probably going to be slightly long. Um, that one hasn't grown at all, so I'm assuming that the other two haven't grown. If Chlorophyte and mud can't grow anywhere outside of the jungle. Tell me in the comments below, guys. Or I'll just research it on the Terraria Wiki, probably. But, um, let's see what we can make. Wow, we got a ton of stuff. Another bezoar. Uh, we've got, like, three bezoars in this world so far. I'm not kidding. So let's see what we can make out of this chlorophyte ore um, at our adamantium uh, forge. Over here, where is the chlorophyte? Take six ore for one chlorophyte bar. Sweet, we have ten bars. Let's see what we can make at the mithril animal. Uh, a jungle hat. And chlorophyte bullets. I need to make some chlorophyte bullets. So we can't make anything out of the chlorophyte. Uh, but we can't make violet dye. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.2.2xcw. Once again, if you would like to ask me a question, just submit in the comments below, and I will answer it during the next episode of Terraria. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, then be sure to like a video, this video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.